Hey everybody, so I decided to finally make my Norwegian Cruise Line breakaway video. Um, since my Carnival one got a lot of views, I thought I'd do one for this. So sorry for the delay, it was in October of 2017. And uh, of course I had a lovely time, hope you enjoy. Before we got to board that beauty called the breakaway, we had to sit in the New York port. Here's a shot from the inside, not a great shot, I get it. And the wait was mental. I have never seen so many people crammed in such, such a small spot and getting so cranky so fast. Um, from what I understood, there were some uh, stowaways on the previous cruise, so we were delayed for a really long time. I'll tell you, not my favorite port to sail out of. So, as many of you know, um, it's a rather large ship. It can take almost 4,000 passengers. We were fortunate enough to book with a promotion they had going on at the time of um, port fees and taxes were free. So that was a rather large saving since I think it was going to cost us about 170 each. So keep your eye out for nice promos like that. So here's a shot of the outside of the ship. This is when we stopped in Port Canaveral. As you see, the hall is designed by Peter Max, a well-known artist, and there's basically nothing to do in Port Canaveral, not in the immediate area. Fortunately, we had friends in the area, so they picked us up and we went to a local beach. But there is a very cute little restaurant there with amazing key lime pie. So here's a shot of the famous chandelier. This, is, this area is called 678, where the 6th, 7th, and 8th floors all kind of converge into this central spot on the ship. The chandelier does change colors um, all day long. It's very beautiful. And it's a really modern looking ship. And the staff was okay, but I have to say, I felt like they were a bit kinder on my carnival cruise. So there are four sit down dining options and then plus the buffet, of course, that are included in your fare, meaning no extra charge. Our favorite was the Manhattan Room. It had a bit of more of an elegant decor. And so while they are pretty lax on their dress codes, we did feel like we should dress up a little bit to dine here. The food was very good and they changed up the options, I think pretty much every night. I thought I'd include a quick uh, photo of the menu of the one night we dined there. So feel free to pause this in case you wanted to get an idea of what's on the menu in the Manhattan room. This is of course the famous rope course. Um, as you'll see, nobody's on it because it was shut down this day. It was too windy. Sometimes they shut it down for a few hours, sometimes the whole day, depending on how the weather was going. My friend did do it and enjoyed it thoroughly. And on the left is the rock climbing wall, as you see. So this was our second stop on our cruise. This was Nassau, Bahamas. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't cooperating as you can see in this photo. And so we did skip Great Stirrup Key. From what I understand, that's actually pretty common, unfortunately. So of course, there's tons of resorts in Nassau, Bahamas, as anyone knows. And we didn't know what we wanted to do for the day. And then I found out we could get a pass for a resort for the day. It was $75 for us. It was all inclusive, all this food. They were doing barbecue all day. They had a buffet. All the drinks are included, gratuities, everything. It was a nice little, you know, slice of heaven with the private beach and the staff was absolutely amazing. I highly recommend this place. So this is a quick shot of the private beach area for um, Breeze's Nassau. In your $75, it also includes non-motorized water sports that you can also enjoy. Unfortunately for us, it was too windy that day, so it wasn't safe to go out. But there's plenty of lounge chairs and beach umbrellas, etc., that you can enjoy. Now we've arrived at our favorite part of the ship, Spice H2O. Adults only, no children allowed. There's lounge chairs put out there during the day so you can enjoy the sun. There's a waterfall in the background there, no pool in this area, where you can go and cool off. And then when the camera pans to the right, you'll see there's a full service bar and there's bathrooms in the back, so everything you need is right there for you. This is a shot of the main pool area. As you see, it's quite crowded. The slides are in the back for the little kids and the big kids. It's a bit too crowded for me, so I didn't really hang out in this area very often, but there were bars and everything else you could possibly need. Welcome to the Breakaway Buffet, where every night they have a different theme. This night was Caribbean. They also have Mexican night, Italian night, etc. So they do mix up the choices for the buffet, as well as keeping some staples like chicken fingers and hamburgers for everyone. 
Howl at the Moon is a super fun piano bar show, and I'm sure you've probably seen some of these around the country. Well, they also have it on the ship. I highly recommend checking out the show if you enjoy live music. It's really funny. You can tip them a couple of bucks. They'll play whatever songs you like. Everyone's up singing and dancing before the end of the night. It's very, very fun, and I highly recommend it. And of course, no cruise video would be complete without a display of the wonderful towel animals. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the Norwegian Breakaway. If you do have any questions or suggestions of your own, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will try to respond if I can help. This is my Instagram handle. Feel free to follow me. And until then, happy travels.